summer was all about Barbie. She was everywhere and even I made quite a few Barbie related videos on this channel. But as we enter the spooky season, step aside for the monster high dolls. These dolls took the toy world by storm with their ghoulish glamour, their unique fashion styles, and let's be honest, they delivered that edgy factor that the doll market was really lacking. I was gonna include all of them, but there are literally so many of them now. So we'll be building a house in The Sims 4 for Claudine Wolf, Laguna Blue, Leo Denial, Deuce Gorgon, Frankie Stein, and Draculaura. My vision here is going to be to build a massive graveyard and the tiny homes are going to resemble graves. I actually built a coffin dollhouse inspired by Monster High dolls. It was really cool. I'll link that video down below if you guys are interested. So I wanted to build something today along those lines, but not the same idea, obviously. We'll be building three tiny homes in total here, but each one will have two bedrooms. So all six Monster High dolls will have somewhere to live. I think we'll go two floors for these. Maybe we'll make them a little smaller. And then for the roofing, how the heck are we gonna make these look like graves? I'm gonna take this roofing piece, bring it forward and arch it maybe. I guess tombstone is like <laughs> the aesthetic we're going for today. But then after we add the graveyard factor, I'm gonna have to make it pretty because like the Monster High dolls do a really good job at combining the freaky with the fashion. That's like kind of their thing. Maybe for the middle here one, I'm actually going to add another roofing factor here. So I'm just going to make the middle one a little bit bigger like that. I feel like that actually looks like the base game tombstone that we get. Like this one here. <laughs> My gameplay has been becoming way too familiar with these. Flashback. Okay, now that we have the basic layout here, I'm gonna start adding onto our shelves. Maybe they can have balconies coming out the front. We'll add fencing to the exteriors here. The one that I'm using right now is from Vampires. And then I was picturing maybe the columns here from Romantic Garden. Like maybe they can go just along some of the corners here. And I think just because I really wanna make this graveyard idea work, I'm gonna try and make the homes pretty cohesive on the outside. The differences are really gonna come in once we do the interior. Interiors. I'm gonna add some black roof paint along the tops here. And should I do all black brick? I'm gonna try this one out here from Cottage Living for now. Although these tombstones in The Sims are like a little more gray. So I don't know, maybe we'll see what it looks like after we add windows and doors. I'm raising all three of them up on a foundation, adding some foundation paint. I'm just gonna extend the front decks a little bit here too. I still feel like we need something here. So I'm adding a roofing piece to the top. I'm adding some stairs. Okay, now that we've got a basic idea going here. I need to figure out windows and doors. I was definitely thinking about vampires, but I also think we could use this one here from Cottage Living. And what if we brought in some Realm of Magic? And then for the windows in my Fall Village build, I made a haunted house and I used the My Wedding Stories windows for them and they looked really good. So I think I'm going to try and bring those in here. I do wish we had a smaller wall height here for these though. They're only available for the medium heights and I have two different wall heights going on right now. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So maybe we'll just use them for the bottom floors and then we need to figure something else out for the top. I'm trying out these ones here from Get Together. Okay, I like where this is heading. Do we whip out the Realm of Magic window? The thing is, I really like this window, but I wish it had like the black covering like that. Same as this door down here, like I could totally see that working, but with the black trim around. Like the trim stays for a second, but as soon as I move, it goes away. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait to personalize the balconies a little bit more, but what I I am gonna do is go into spooky stuff and I'm gonna grab these cobwebs here. I'm going to kind of attach them onto that column and then raise them up. So they're going to act as almost spandrels here. I did this in the coffin build and it ended up looking really cool. So we're just gonna put these on all the balconies. Oh yep, that looks pretty. And then in the middle, I'm picturing a big fountain. I really like some of these ones here from my wedding stories. We can just put that in the middle like that. And for my terrain paint, I'm gonna do a combination of two. So I'm gonna go in first with some dirt. I brought the softness all the way down here just for a little bit more control. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with, let's do the 21 rock here from base game. I like to go back in on top sometimes and just kind of like add more roughness looking to it. I'm gonna add some more graves. These ones are from Cottage Living Debug. All right, so here's what we got for our Monster High graveyard. I went in and added 
all of our landscaping. We've got some like purple orbs going around the fountain there. I added even more graves going on and I also added some seasons decorations going around the friezes. My little guy is back here just putting up all the lights. I thought the colors added a little bit of the monster high element in there and they can easily be taken down or changed. Like what else can we change these to? We could do the purple icicle lights. I like how that looks too. It just gives it a little something extra. All right, let's start to figure out who's gonna live in which house. We'll start over here with the left one. And like I said, we're gonna have two dolls in each house. So they're gonna share the main floor here. I'm using ladders today just to save space because I wanna decorate this as much as possible. So sharing the main floor, upstairs we'll have one bedroom and then down in the basement, each one's got a basement here, another doll will have that. For this house, I'm gonna put together Claudine and Draculaura who are BFFs in the franchise. So for her bedroom, we're gonna be seeing a ton of purple. Oh my gosh, should we do the fur carpet? I feel like we have to. We'll see lots of purple, lots of fur. It's gonna work. Maybe we could do like a lighter purple for the wallpaper, but then for the bed, we could maybe do a darker purple. Like this could work. Oh my gosh, but I feel like I should definitely be using that. And maybe I could actually change this up. I'm sure there's going to be a purple fluffy carpet I could use, like that one from high school years. Claudine is also a fashion designer, so I kind of want to build her an entire massive closet. I think I'm actually going to add some walls here. I'm going to use these neon mirrors here from Spa Day in between. And then maybe on these sides here, we can add in some dream home decorator shelving. You can also hang some clothes up here. So I'm going to add all purple clothes. Ooh, and actually, should I bring in a locker here? Their whole thing is like monster high, like they're in school. So I kind of don't hate that idea. Obviously, Claudine is a werewolf. So I definitely want to bring in quite a bit of werewolf decor. Like I'm going to add these moon lamps. We could also add some of these ones here from growing together. Wait, what if we added a massive moon decal over the bed? Like the moon is rising around it. I kind of love that. I wouldn't hate having a high school year's clothing rack as well. I noticed this one here has like some leopard print, so we could use that. Also the werewolf's moon mirror could work here. I'm also going to add a soccer ball in her room and some shoes. And maybe I could put up some werewolves pictures in here. I have an entire empty wall. Maybe we could put some up over there like that. I could even mount a TV. I also feel like I have to give... <laughs> this house a cat. Like we have to do it, right? So I'm gonna add one of the cat scratching poles here, maybe with a little bed, like at the end of her bed. Wait, the cat can't get down here. Okay, I had to delete the cat stuff. They can't get down the ladder. We can't do that to the poor kitties. We almost finished this room without this bed. <laughs> Close call, but I feel like we've got it here. The other bed was giving Draculaura a little bit, which kind of makes sense if they are best friends, but this print looks so much better. It's so much more cohesive in here. Here. It's totally giving Claudine Wolf to me. This is what it looks like on the other side. We've got a bit of a werewolf gallery wall going on. We actually had a purple swatch for that clock, which is perfect for our room. I added a little bit more Sims 4 werewolf decor. We've got the fashion aspect, a little bit of the sportiness. And with that, we are ready to go upstairs. And I think I'm gonna skip the main floor and go right to Draculaura's bedroom. The thing with all these dolls is they tend to be the offspring of an cult. So Draculaura is meant to be the offspring of Dracula, aka she's a vampire. <laughs> Her wiki says she is prone to crying when she has to deal with obstacles and girl, I get it. We see a lot of black and pink when it comes to Draculaura. Obviously, we're gonna go with that for our wallpaper. Does it look ridiculous with the black and pink stripes? Maybe. I feel like we'll get enough of the black and pink with like the decor that we used. So I'm going in with these movie stuff pack curtains. These used to be my favorite. I never used use these anymore, but there was a time. I need to check out the rugs here. There's gotta be a pink, white, and black striped rug, right? I've got this one here from the pastel pop kit, worst case scenario. Get Famous has some funky rug options. I'm gonna stick with this for now, and now we need to find a bed. I've got my pink and black color filter on. We could use the actual vampire's bed. I feel like then maybe this window would have to go though, but we can still use these curtains to kind of like 
drape over it. There's also this bed we were gonna give to Claudine. Let's try it. I changed my curtains already. I had to. I'm gonna add this dresser here from Vampires and I might actually have to rearrange a little bit here so I can fit it without covering a window. Our goal here is going to be like vampire glam. Like I could very much see this lamp happening here with the fringe. I also wouldn't hate a desk. I wonder if I could fit one in this corner here. There will be no mirrors in here because the poor girl can't actually see herself because she's a vampire. I'm gonna give her the heart chair and I'm just gonna squeeze this desk right back in there. For lighting, I'm gonna use these here from vampires. I would love to add a seating area for her. I could definitely see these chairs working in here from base game. I'm adding some of these pictures here from the book nook kit. Hold everything. Look at this wallpaper. I have never used this from spooky stuff and I think today is gonna have to be the first time. There's even a more muted option which actually I like that. I also feel like I should be giving her the coffin bed. Like obviously she's a vampire. This is where she would sleep. That other one just suited her so well. <sighs> Maybe if I can find some pink chairs now to pull this together. Okay, this is extremely random, but what if we raise these up? These are little, I don't even know, grass markers <laughs> from wedding stories. What if I tried to put these in my coffin? I feel like that looks cute. It matches her style. And then there's also these heart neon lights we could add from high school years. As the final thing here, I'm adding these black bows on the windows. Okay, so this is going to be our Draculaura bedroom. Maybe at at one point we'll get to use the bed that I've been trying to use this entire time. But for now, this is what it's looking like with the coffin heart bed. I had to add the bat bear over here. And with that, we need to finish up the main floor for them. Down here, I'm gonna try and combine both of their styles. Obviously, we're gonna need to include the bathroom, the kitchen, and the living room down here. Maybe in there, we could do the black and white checkered flooring, some purple wallpaper. It's just gonna be a basic three tile bathroom with the shower there. Maybe we'll do like the black and white toilet, like that one with the funky pattern going on. And we could do the vampire's sink. I was going to do the vampire mirror, but I feel like that's a little mean since Draculaura can't see herself. So I'm just going to add some towels in here and maybe the vampire's shelf with some clutter on it. Okay, there we go for our bathroom. I just realized it's kind of ironic that these two are besties because in The Sims 4 and in like a lot of occult lore, werewolves and vampires are supposed to hate each other. I'm happy for these two though. Glad we figured that out. <laughs> so I'm using Realm of Magic kitchen appliances with just base game counters. I'm using matching base game cabinets. We're gonna add a cute little dining table for the two of them. Oh, maybe with those purple chairs. And for lighting, I'm gonna use these again from Vampires. I'm actually moving my table over here into this corner. That way we can maybe do a seating area right here near the entry. For my seating, I think I'm gonna use these chairs here from Paranormal with the matching love seat. I'm using that Get Famous rug there. So at least we're bringing that pattern from upstairs down. I'm adding a small table from high school years in the corner here. And I think I'm going to put a TV on it. All right. This is how our main room turned out. They've got their living room area over there with a TV. I added these speakers over here just for like something extra for them to do. We've got our kitchen over there with all the essentials. And I even had room for an extra dining chair over here. Okay, let's move on to the next house. For the second house, we're going to be putting together Laguna Blue and Frankie Stein. So starting again in the basement, I think we got to start off with Frankie. So Frankie is the daughter of Frankenstein and his bride. She has this like cool green skin tone, which we could play into. She also wears like blue plaid. There's the white and black aspect we could play with. There's a lot of options here. And I think first thing we need to find a bed. I actually have one in mind. I was picturing this one here from high school years. I think we got to do this. I think I'm going to flip it around this side though. So it's away from the ladder. The ladder is look a little awkward in this house because you can't put them on a diagonal. What if we also used a checkered rug under there from Pastel Pop Kit? But this green could maybe work here. I added those candles there from Paranormal and they look very cool lit. Get them in live mode. They have this like blue flame. For her dresser, I'm thinking we maybe give her this one here from high school years. Oh, she could also have this mirror from high school years. As long as this area is free from the ladder, it's still going to be functional. She also has an interest in 
sewing. So I'm gonna give her the sewing kit, which I think is really clever because, you know, she has like the stitching on her because she's related to Frankenstein. So maybe we can actually lean into that. We can give her like some nifty knitting decor. We can also give her the knitting basket, just any Sims 4 sewing related things. So we'll give her all that stuff over here. Ooh, actually these could fit our aesthetic too. Probably not what they intended for nifty knitting to be like a little spooky, but we're gonna roll with it. I feel like, and I might be making this up, but I feel like there's a Frankenstein like doll, like one of these. There's so many of them. I honestly could be wrong here. Oh, there's a zombie. That's not really what I was thinking, but it is kind of cute. I've changed the flooring to that all checkered pattern with the industrial loft kit rug. All right, this is going to be Frankie's bedroom. I added that mirror there because it reminded me of the stitching on her. I love the bed. I feel like it's so fitting for her. We've got our mirror and our dresser over there. And I added some lightning bolts under the TV because isn't that part of Frankenstein lore? And of course, we've got our knitting and cross-stitching area over here. Okay, let's go up to the top floor. And this is going to be Laguna Blue's room. So our color scheme in here is going to be all blue. Obviously, it's in the name. And Laguna Blue is meant to be like a sea monster. She grew up in the Great Scarier Reef, which they are so clever at coming up with these names. Some of the names of the actual dolls too, like from the other generations are so out there. Who's reading some of them earlier and like invisibility really got me. Also meowlity. Obviously we're aiming for an ocean aesthetic here. And I found this rug. This is actually from Horse Ranch. And the colors on there, I feel like it could just really work, especially with this bed. The ladder is throwing me off a bit. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I can try and separate the room. And then my bed can just go in between there like that. We could maybe use this here from City Living. She's got an interest for like ocean animals. So I'm gonna be including probably a fish tank in here. Maybe that's what we can put on this weird wall. For her dresser, I might use this one here from high school years. I feel like we are going a little too light. So I changed my bed over to this one from high school years and I also changed a couple swatches here. I feel like Laguna does have one of the lighter aesthetics out of all of the originals, but this is still monster high. We gotta keep with the monster theme. I added some debug island living coral over here as shelving. I have another one of these awkward corals corners over here. So I'm just adding a desk. Maybe with this light blue and white chair from high school years. There's also this ocean photo from base game we could use. Actually, I think Island Living has a few as well. Oh yeah, we could do some of these here. Maybe like reminding her of home a little bit. And okay, I've changed the swatches literally a million times, but this is coming together a little bit more here. We've got the desk area over in the corner. Our bedroom looking cute with the fishbowl by the bed and an entire tank to the left. I do need to still figure out what to put in this corner. I might just keep it simple, maybe with a bookshelf, like maybe that one there from Cats and Dogs. And I think I might actually add a chair here from the pastel pop kit. We'll put a table right beside there. Maybe I can get like a frog or something to go on that. There we go. We have a pet frog as well. Okay, so this is going to be our Laguna Blue bedroom. This is definitely one of the bigger ones and one of the hardest for me to figure out. But next we need to figure out how we're going to pull these two aesthetics together. I don't think it's going to be that difficult because they're both blue. And because this one is on a diagonal, it's actually the biggest one out of all of them. So I'm thinking similar to upstairs, I want to at least section that off a little bit just because it's so awkwardly shaped. We could actually divide the whole thing there with an archway. Sims will still be able to get up and down that way. I'm going to add my bathroom right beside it. And then this whole area here will be open for kitchen and dining and everything else. I think we could do maybe a fun wallpaper here like this. This one is from vampires. There's actually also this one here, which we could do in the bathroom. That wallpaper is from the decor to the max kit. And then we could go in with some black flooring. I'm thinking for my kitchen, I'm using black cottage living counters and cabinet. And I really liked how the realm of magic appliances worked with the other one. So I think I'm going to bring them through here as well. Oh my gosh, this fishbowl has a little haunted house in it. It kind of looks like our home here. That is so fitting. Maybe we can put it on the island here. I'm adding some curtains here from vampires. Also from vampires, we've got this cabinet, which I think I might just put over by the archway here. Wait, the fish in there is a bone fish. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. I just stocked the fish bowl in there and look at him swimming around. I've never seen that. I did not know this existed in The Sims 4. I'm using some of these bottles as decor over here. And they're also like messages in a bottle, which kind of fits here. I've been trying to figure out how we can get a TV down here. So I moved my vampire's cabinet over. I think I'm going to use this wall mounted tiny 
tiny living TV. And then we can use some of the high school years chairs here. We could even do the patterned ones like that. I'm also gonna add this mirror here at the front door. And this is going to be our main room of their house. My new favorite thing has to be this little fish. I could definitely see this making a reappearance. No, not the welcome wagon. For the bathroom in here, this is probably my only opportunity to use a bathtub. So I'm gonna use that one there from Cottage Living. We could do a toilet here and maybe sink over on this wall as well. I might use a blue Realm of Magic mirror. We could definitely fit a table here, maybe with some towels. And I liked those black nifty knitting shelves that I was using downstairs. So I think I'm gonna bring those back. Oh, I never knew the toilet paper clips onto the back of the toilet. I didn't know that was an available shelf space. Interesting. You're gonna see toilet paper on every single toilet from now on. <laughs> All right, this is our bathroom. We are ready to move on to the final house, which is going to be owned by Cleo Denial and Deuce Gorgon, who are actually dating. But even though they're dating, I'm still gonna make them separate bedrooms to carry on the theme here. So let's do Cleo's bedroom first. Cleo is meant to be a mummy and her color scheme is going to be blues, browns, and gold. I might actually give her this wallpaper here and I'll leave the flooring, but we'll put down a blue rug. I could see something like this working for her. I think there's a few fun swatches like that we could use. I was thinking for her bed of doing one of these from Get Famous. Oh, we could do that one actually. That'll work. I'm thinking about using these from high school years over top of the bed, but what if we actually put them that way? Normally I just have them like surrounding it, but that looks kind of cool. And then we could maybe use these here from the Modern Lux kit. Actually, we could add a few of the pillows from the Modern Lux as well. That'll bring in some of the black and gold. I'm just gonna stick some of them behind the pillows that are already there. Oh, this one's gonna be good. I was a little nervous about this one, but especially with this Modern Lux kit, this one might end up being my favorite. I'm gonna give her some of the jewelry decor, also with some of the makeup. I really like these vases here from Jungle Adventure. I feel like they could look cool in here. Actually, what if we tried to put some plants in them? Like what if I raise this up or even try and make it bigger? This one would work a little better. This one is from Jungle Adventure as well. I need a little more blue in here. I could maybe do this picture. We're just gonna set the lighting here to blue. My dresser is just gonna have to be a small one, which I'm gonna put in that corner there. And this is going to be Cleo's bedroom. I think it turned out so cool in here. Her aesthetic, similar to Laguna Blue, doesn't give me like as scary vibes as some of them. And I feel like that's kind of reflected in here, but the detail and everything is totally there. Okay, let's go all the way upstairs. And now we have to make the final room, which is going to be Deuce Gorgon. So he's actually the son of Medusa Gorgon, which is very cool. And he wears green, black, and red, which I think I might go with that wallpaper there. Ooh, actually we should give him this bed. Something about that is totally giving snake to me. We don't really have anything snake related in The Sims 4, do we? To finish this off, I added a cottage living dresser. I just pushed that over into the corner and I also added some red decor. Like I found this red hat and the shoe box. I also added another vampire stool with some more sculptures on top. I tried to emphasize the sculptures in this bedroom. I raised up some fairy lights from the little campers kit and I, I've been loving putting them on a diagonal lately. Just up in the corners, so I rotated them. And to finish it all off, I added the movie posters in red, giving it a little bit of an edgier factor in this bedroom. I actually really like how this one turned out. This entire house I was a little bit worried about, but I feel like it came together quite nicely. And luckily no Christmas vibes with the green and the red. And then for the bottom floor, I wanted to pull together their color schemes and their themes. And apparently Deuce is really into cooking. So I made sure I gave him some green kitchen appliances from Country Kitchen. I added elements of gold and blue in here to really bring it all together. And in the bathroom, I tried to do something similar with the gold and the green. I also finished off the balconies and on Deuce and Cleo's, I added the woodworking table so they could sculpt. On Laguna's and Frankie's, I added a couple of loungers for them. And on Draculaura's and Claudine's, I added a seating area with some pillows so they could come out and gossip. So that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know which Monster High doll is your favorite and if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.